In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a new feature in Cozy Rocks SSIS Plus 2.0 that makes it much easier to remove all of the static columns from the source and the destination components when used with Dataflow Task Plus and creating a dynamic data flow. I've already set up the connection managers. So our source is going to be an Excel file. So here's the connection manager for that. And our destination is going to be a table, a SQL Server table. So I've set up the OLADB connection manager for that. So we'll start out by dragging Dataflow Test Plus onto the Control Flow Canvas. And I'm going to right mouse click on that and go down to Properties. And we want to set delay validation to true. Now we'll go over to the Dataflow Canvas. And I'll get the Excel Source Plus component from Cozy Rock. And I'll just open the regular editor and set up the Connection Manager and the worksheet. And here you can see the data that's in our Excel file. There's five columns and seven rows. And we'll look at the columns. So we need to get rid of all of these statically defined columns. And uh, I'll show you how much easier it is now. So all I need to do is right mouse click on the component. And instead of going to Advanced Editor and manually removing them, I go down to Remove Static Columns. And this just prompts me to make sure that this is what I really want to do. And I click on Yes. And now I would be done configuring that component, but I'm going to open up the Advanced Editor to show you what it did for me. So I go to Component Properties, and here you can see Validate External Metadata is set to False. In the past, I had to manually set that to False. And in the column mappings, it has already removed all of the static columns and replaced them with the thunk column and done the mapping from the external columns to the output column. And now we'll go down and get the OLADB destination. And we'll open the editor. And we'll select the Equipment Suppliers table and look at the existing data. You can see the table is empty. And I'll just show you the mappings. So in the past, I would have had to use the Advanced Editor again to remove these statically defined columns. And we don't need to do that anymore. Instead, I right mouse click, go to Remove Static Columns, I confirm that's what I want to do. And the red X goes away, and everything's been configured in the destination component for me. Again, I'm going to just open up the advanced editor to show you what it did. So under Component Properties, it set Validate External Metadata to False for me. It removed the available destination columns and put in a thunk column and mapped the input column to the destination column. And now we just need to go back to the control flow canvas. I'm going to use the regular task editor, which now automatically opens on the dynamic tab. We used to have to click on that. And we'll just enable the dynamic capabilities for the source and the destination. And now we're done configuring that. So I'll just save the package and execute it. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go to Management Studio, and I'll show you what's in the table now. So there you can see all the data was copied over. So that made configuring a dynamic data flow much simpler. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. 
If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 